Hello, welcome to High Desert Tech. Uh, today's topic is uh, my day one experience with the Netgear AX4. Um, I do want to tell you that uh, I was very frustrated with this product today, so I wanted to make a quick video and get it out there to let, let you all know. I plugged this in, it would not connect to the internet no matter what I did. I tried different cables, I tried to reset the cable modem, I tried all kinds of different things, and I'm really a router expert, I know all about this. It would not work. So, after a few hours of searching to figure out what's wrong, uh, I found out that the firmware that shipped with this router, and I'll put this to the side and talk about this with you, the firmware that shipped with, with the router, it's version 1.01. .01 36 uh, will not connect to the internet which is really insane I'm really mad about it can you imagine getting a router or any product that's not going to connect to the internet the first time I mean this thing is supposed to be kind of like plug-and-play but it's not so I wanted to read over a little bit about the solution uh, that you can use to get around this and I uh, put this I will try to put a link below <coughs> For you so let me just read through this a little bit just so you know what to do you need to disconnect all all of the Ethernet connections which is weird I know but that's what you got to do um, you better visit a certain link I'll give it to you it's Netgear support download and download the latest firmware to your PC and you, you may have to do this with your old router because this one is uh, not gonna work for you you need to disconnect the Ethernet cable that's connected, <clears throat> uh, any other Ethernet cables, just no cables connected to it. You need to visit uh, www.routerlogin.net. Just log in to the router and say, No, I want to configure the router myself. This is after you download the latest firmware. Uh, you'll have to follow instructions on the setup wizard after this point. Log in, set up your admin password. Uh, then you'll have to go and set up your uh, router firmware. There's a, you can go to admin and you can um, go through the setup wizard and then you can uh, select the file in the admin section and upload a new firmware to this router. It is possible I did it. What I did is they say that you should uh, connect a cable during the process from your computer to one of the Ethernet ports and not the WAN port. I didn't do that. I just used wireless. So you can do either one. Uh, and then you'll have, it will automatically reset your router. And strangely enough, after it comes back up, it will just automatically work. You won't have to go through the setup program. You can go through the setup program again. I, I didn't have to. It just started working. So I just wanted to warn you all out there about this. I think this is a, a really kind of bonehead thing on near Netgear's part. They're shipping this, this product to you that won't even connect to the internet. So maybe this video will help you. Um, that's all I want to say about that. Click like and subscribe and tell me below in the comments uh, what you think about this.